What's up everyone? Earlier today Apple released the newest version of iOS 5.1.1. Now there is a new jailbreak out for it also. This is a tethered jailbreak. So you will need to go to the site. I'll have this site link in the description below. You will need to download the firmware of your device, the 5.1 firmware that is, not the 5.1.1. The newest version of Red Snow currently does not support 5.1.1. So Head down to Red Snow, download the Beta 8 version of either the Mac or Windows. Let that go ahead and download. I've already got it downloaded here on my desktop. Now go ahead and open up Red Snow. It could be in a folder, so go ahead and open the, the Red Snow folder and, and either dump it on your desktop or just open it up from your folder. Now once it's open, let's go ahead and head over to our device and put our device into DFU mode. To put it into DFU mode you will need to hold down the home button and the power button at the same time for 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds are up you will need to release the power button while still holding the home button. Now once you are done with that, your computer will most likely come up. iTunes will say that it has uh, detected a device in recovery mode, which is fine. Just go ahead and close that out. Mine just popped up behind my red snow. Just go ahead and hit OK. Let's go to iTunes and eject our device from iTunes. Now let's go ahead and select jailbreak. Now it's going to identify the device. It's going to exploit with Lime Rain. Let it run through its process here. This could take a little while. Now it's waiting for the reboot. And now let's head over to the device and it's, we're going to see the uh, kernel. All this uh, jailbreak process being shown. Now I'll speed this up periodically. This does take quite a while. It's currently downloading the jailbreak data and here pretty soon you will see the matrix mode. This is perfectly fine obviously if you've already jailbroken before you know exactly how to do this. But if you are new to the scene, this is perfectly fine. Just let it run through its course. Don't touch the device or your computer. Just watch and take it all in. Jailbreaking is a lot of fun. Now again, this is a tethered jailbreak, which means you will once you reboot your device, each time you reboot, you'll have to do a tethered boot, which we'll show here towards the end of the video. So now let's, it's going to run through more process here. You'll see the Pone Apple moving applications and all of its process. This could take a long while, especially the moving applications. I'm going to skip through the moving applications pretty quickly here. And you, if you are running untethered jailbreak on 5.0.1, I really recommend staying on 5.0.1 and not going to 5.1.1 not just yet. Now you'll see the phone, iPod or iPad, all of these devices other than the new iPad, the iPad 2 or the 4S are not eligible for this. Only A4 devices. Once it's rebooted, let's head back and you'll see a white Cydia icon which is fine. Now let's head back to our 
desktop here and you can go ahead and select back now it will go ahead and select just boot now you will need to put your device back into DFU mode you will need to go back to your device here hold down the home and power button again for 10 seconds and release the power button and keep holding the home button and then you will start seeing your computer red snow start doing its jailbreak thing and then you will start seeing the pone apple once again there's the pone apple this could take up quite a bit of time here as well so I will skip through a little bit of this and once that is done you will be back to the lock screen and you will have a working city icon go ahead and open that up and you can select user hacker or developer I usually select developer there's no filters so that is how you tether jailbreak your iOS device the iPod touch the iPhone all the way up into the iPhone 4 4s is excluded and the original iPad the iPad 2 and the new iPad and also the 4s are not eligible for this jailbreak so if you go if you like the video hit the subscribe button above and the like button down below give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and if you want to see more of these videos hit the subscribe button you'll see more of these videos in your subscription box so again thanks for watching this is Paul God bless